A typical laboratory centrifuge rotates at 4,000 rotations per minute. Test tubes have to be placed into a centrifuge very carefully because of the very large accelerations. What is the acceleration at the end of a test tube that is 10 centimeters from the axis of rotation? Next, for comparison, what is the magnitude of the acceleration a test tube would experience if stopped in a one millisecond long encounter with a hot floor after falling from a height of one meter? Okay, here what is given to us? Frequency is given to us. Okay, frequency F is equal to 4000 rotations per minute. Okay, so we have to convert it into per second. Therefore, 4000 divided by 60 gives 4000 rotations. Uh, 4000 by 60 gives the rotations per second. Next, this is the frequency. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to find out the acceleration. We know this is the based on the circular motion because the centrifuge is the nothing but it rotates in a circle. Okay, therefore we have to we need the he is asking us to find out the acceleration. So acceleration is centripetal uh, centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is v square over r. Okay, now we have to relate frequency and velocity. Okay, here V is the velocity, R is the distance uh, from the axis of rotation, this uh, particle uh, distance from the axis of rotation. Now, we have to relate, how to relate, we know V is equal to velocity is equal to distance over time. Here, the distance is the uh, circumference of the circle. So, circumference of the circle is 2 pi r and then the time taken to complete one full circumference, one full circle is the time period. So, that is equal to T. But we know f is equal to 1 by t. Okay. Therefore, this is equal to v is equal to 2 pi r f. Okay. So we have the we have the value f, and then r is given to us as a 10 centimeters. R is equal to 10 centimeters. Therefore, r is equal to 10 by 100, that is equal to 0 0.1 meters. Okay, so this I will write 2 pi r is 0 0.1 and then f is equal to 4000 times uh, 4000 by 60. Okay, so therefore v is equal to 2 pi 0 0.1 times uh, 4000 by 60. So this gives a value of v is equal to <coughs> 40 times um, 40.188 meters per second. Now I have to find out the centripetal acceleration. So centripetal acceleration AC is equal to this square 40.188 square divided by radius is 0.1. This gives a value of 1.75 into 10 to the power into 10 to the power of 4 meters per second square. Okay, this is the answer for the first bit, A, A bit. Okay, next he is asking us to find out the answer for the B bit. So now we will uh, try the B bit. What is the B bit? Um, time is given to us. Okay, he is saying that what is the magnitude of acceleration a test tube would experience if stopped in one millisecond long encounter with a hard floor after falling from a height of one meter. Here what is happening that test tube is falling from a height of one meter and then it takes one millisecond to fall one meter length. Okay, so the height is given as one meter and then time is given as one millisecond. 1 millisecond means 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds. Okay. Now, uh, I have to find out the uh, acceleration. Here, again, acceleration is question mark. Okay. This is uh, linear motion, not the circular motion, linear motion. So, how to relate the acceleration and the, uh, these quantities? There is, and, and one more thing is the object is coming to a rest. So, therefore, Vf is equal to zero am i right v of is equal to zero now we i have to find out the acceleration for that uh, let let me try let me 
do the problem. This I can do with the help of the kinematic equation V of square is equal to V I square plus 2AD. This is the equation. And then here, what I do is acceleration, because it is falling from a height, just to, have, uh, for example, I will show you, this is this one, like this, it is falling and then hitting the ground. Okay, so the time is given as here, and then this one, so this is under the free fall, therefore, a free fall acceleration, A is equal to minus G, as it is falling down. Okay, so I can write that here. Okay, A is equal to minus G, so minus G means minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay. And then D is equal to H. This is the height. Okay. So, and uh, Vf is equal to 0. So I will put 0 and I will find Vi square here. Vi square plus 2 into A is minus 9.8 meters per second square. And then the distance is 1 meter. Height is 1 meter. Okay, so P A square this side goes, so it goes this side, this is minus V I square is equal to uh, minus 19.6 meters per meters square second square. Okay, so therefore minus N goes off, V I is equal to, what is the answer? This V I gives one uh, four square root, no? So this is uh, 2 into 9 point, so this is 4.427 meters per second. Just a minute, I will calculate again this one, 19 point, how much it will be, 19.6 square root, yeah, 4.427 meters per second. Now what uh, we have to do, we have to find out the acceleration. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity over a period of time, so delta V by delta T. So here delta V is, uh, Vf is equal to zero. So therefore, this is the, um, only this one we will get. So 4.427 divided by, and then time period is given as one millisecond. Okay. This is meters per second. So this gives, what is the value? V by T gives the value of 4.4 into 10 to the power of minus 4. Am I right? No, minus 3. 10 to the power of minus 3. 4.4 .4 into 10 to the power of not minus 3. 10 to the power of 3. No, this is minus 3. So this is 10 to the power of 3 uh, meters per second square. And it goes up, this becomes 4.4 into 10 to the power of 3 meters per second square. So this is the answer for the this question. Am I right? 4.4 into 10 to the power of 3 meters per second square. And then this is 1.75 into 10 to the power of 4 meters per second square. This is the answer for this question. This is a multiple concept question, integrated, integrated concept. Okay. And then just we have to relate the all concepts here. That's all. Thank you. Bye bye.